right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So we've been running for almost a day now on a full giga hash. We got 1.1 giga hash on all my combined rigs. I have thrown, I have thrown all of my rigs on ethermine.org to mine ETH. So I just wanted to do this in a down market just to see what the daily estimated profits are. Ethereum is trading about 2400 right now. Let's go check. Hold on. Oh, it went up a little bit. 2454 ETH. And then Bitcoin is at 36.8. And for reference, we are 28 January 2022. All right. So where are we at here? We got 10 workers. And you see I have a pending payout. And the GUI fee is ridiculously high at 214 GUI. I don't know why it's so high. My threshold is 50 because I'm cheap and I hate paying fees. So my uh, unpaid balance is a whopping 1K. Uh, estimated earnings on 1.1 giga hash over 24 hours is about $30. During the heyday a couple months ago when Ethereum was in the 4,000. The estimated earnings was $50. So assuming we had such a correction, this is in line with what you would expect. So you're still making money. You're still burning power. You got the expenses there, but you're still making money. So you can flip this to, if you don't really care about the fiat, which I really don't at this point, my goal is to stack coins. I just want to stack both Ethereum coins and I want to stack Bitcoin. After I get the payout here, I'm going to switch back over to two miners. And with two miners, I will still mine ETH, but I will get paid out in yummy Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the king. Bitcoin is the leader. Uh, I'm not going to really focus too much on these altcoins because altcoins will go away sometimes. They will just disappear and you're left holding nothing. And I've had that happen from 2016. A couple coins just cease to exist, and all coins always scare me. Now, having said that, I have my CPU rigs on Raptorium, so I hope Raptorium does not just vanish and go away because that would be a lot of a, a lot of wasted electricity, a lot of wasted time and effort and CPU uh, purchases. All right, let's flip around here. Let's get to ETH mode here. ETH mode. So estimated earnings per day on a 1.1 giga hash reported and current 1.1 across the board, baby. I'm in the 1.1 club now. All right. I am at 0.01225 ETH estimated earnings. And I got 10 workers. Let's break her down now. Here was I have had some ups and downs the last day. I was running at 800 because I had three other rigs on two miners making Bitcoin. Mining Ethereum, like I said, I decided to go to Ethermine just to see what the payout is in a down market. And there you go. I showed you. So here we've been running now at the 1.1. All right, here's my workers, 10 workers. And you can see the, the breakout accordingly. This was my 2013 gaming rig. I got six GPUs sitting off that, a various mix of what I could get my, my little grubby hands on at the time. Number two is my, my big boy. That is all the uh, 3080 Ti LHR. But with the awesome T-Rex miner, I get 90 mega hash per card on that puppy. And I'm burning under 300 watts per card. These are mostly three down. Those are two laptops right there. Those are three and four. That's a Lenovo and a Dell working, working their little butts off, mining Ethereum. And then we got some individual CPU and GPU hybrid rigs running together. Some are Ryzen 5s. Some are the Ryzen 9 3900Xs. There's my workers. And this gives you a rough idea of what you can make. So if you have 500 mega hash, you'll make 15 bucks a day. Not awesome, but it's something. And again, this is before expenses. This is before electrical costs. So this is my revenue. All right, I hope this helps give you a real world example of what you can make right now. So now we uh, now we are in the waiting game. We're in the waiting way fee game, hoping that thing drops. And it just drives me nuts. 
That's why once I get my payout here, I'm done with this. I'm going to switch to two miners and I'm going to get my yummy payout in Bitcoin or Nano. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helps give you an understanding. Is crypto mining profitable? Sure. But if you're going to buy stuff now, if you're going to buy GPs now, just I would wait because things are really expensive yet and they're still hard to get. You may have to look into getting a retail bot like Stellar AIO or Nova and then get the uh, GPUs as they become available and get them at MSRP. But then that's an incurred cost and learning experience as well using those retail bots. Um, things are just expensive to invest that much money right now in GPUs may not be the best strategy, but uh, it's all what you want to do. I mean, it's your money. It's your hobby. And uh, take the information you gather off the Internet and make your own financial decisions. Uh, this is not financial advice, obviously. And if you uh, listen to people on YouTube and take advice from people on YouTube, that's not a good strategy either. Teach yourself how it works. And uh, yeah, because nobody cares more about your money than you do. All right. That's my tip for the day. All right. I'm out. Take care. Bye.